We were contacted by the UN who asked us to design flyers that would be culturally sensitive and reach out to the LRA directly to ask them why are they fighting and to show them that they'll be forgiven and accepted back into their communities if they would just surrender and give up their arms. We took the request from the UN to our lead designer, Tyler, who came up with drawings that would best communicate the surrender process. We realized that the effectiveness of the flyer would depend on the cultural context in which it was received, so we sought out input from Jolie on what would resonate most with LRA fighters. When the art department started doing the pictures, what I realized was that in order for LRA to understand, I needed to help the art department. The surrendering process was, you know, by raising your hand up, but LRAs don't believe in surrendering. Even if they've committed atrocities, they're still your brothers. That is why at the back here, Omega, the word Omega means brother. So the, the, the final bit of it where I felt was very important was the family hugging together. The LRA know that they don't have a family anymore. So that is why when they know that they have a family to fall to and they see these guys with their families, it makes such a big difference and it makes it very easy for them to feel like I can surrender and go back home. So that is why I feel this flyer is very important because if you can get those in abduction back home using this flyer then you would have maybe like finalized almost everything. An LRA combatant is going to look at this and this is like their instruction for surrender. You know here we have a language that's spoken primarily in northern Uganda as well as the two main dialects that are spoken in northeastern Congo so that everybody who is a part of the LRA will be able to read these things. We got to distribute the flyers up in Central African Republic. We presented the flyers to the local administrator there, who took them and gave them to the local defense forces. We actually got to see them take them out to paths and water sources that the LRA frequent to attract the attention of the LRA. The mission is to fix those tracks so that LRA can read. I'm sure it's going to change my life for that. I was able to go out and see these flyers being hung up in the trees in hopes that as the LRA pass along these areas, they'll see the flyers, they'll see the messages that encourage them to stop fighting, to give up their arms, to give up that way of life, and to know that they'll be forgiven, they can come out of the bush and receive amnesty, and they don't have to keep fighting. This distribution is the first of many to come. Over the next few months, we will continue working with our partners on the ground to spread this message and to encourage LRA defection across the region. <laughs>